Good morning, friends. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are glad too that Chris is not here in the nicest way possible. <laughs> For his sake that he's enjoying <laughs> rest and relaxation. <laughs> yeah. So Chris has this week off and so uh, blessings on him and his family as they mm -hmm. are just enjoying some time away, uh, which is a good thing. You know, kind of the summer is winding down. School is actually starting next week. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But uh Good things happening and so we welcome you to just hang out with us today uh, to do some looking back and some looking forward and to review and to just uh, just acknowledge what God is doing in our lives and so I think that's a that's a good and important thing mm. and so when we get together on these uh, mornings we just like to uh, have a look back and just um, acknowledge some things and then as we look forward but this last Sunday uh, we as we look back to this last Sunday we had wonderful celebration with Paul and Tanya Gericke, mm -hmm. who are our supportive missionaries to uh, Romania, and they are specifically with Camp Falcon Rock. And uh, it was it, it was kind of mind-boggling that they said they've been there 10 years now. Mm -hmm. That does not feel like 10 years ago. It feels like only a, like a handful, but I guess it's two handfuls, so... Uh... <laughs> <Another pause. laughs> yeah. And so they've been there 10 years and uh, it's, it's really cool to see and hear but also then uh, what that means is that there's 10 years of experiences and so they got to come and share not only like where Camp Falcon Rock has come in the last 10 years as well too but also uh, all the all the people that have come along with it as well so they were able to connect even with some of are people who were there not quite 10 but just about 10 years um, mm -hmm. eight years ago um, from our church and so to come back with some of their group it was really cool so it was uh, like I don't have experience with Paul and Tanya like with Lakeview uh, so I've only known them since they came I think about a year ago uh, I knew they were our supportive missionaries I read about them but to meet them I've, I've maybe met them twice now when they've been here but to see what changed from yeah. their, their video that they showed of, yeah. of all the buildings they've built in 10 years and yeah. then to, uh, to kind of hang out with their group and realize that the group that we took, that Chris took uh, years ago yeah. and Lyndon and, and uh, all the people that went said, oh yeah, that guy yeah. who spoke was, you know, yeah. 10 that years old when we some, first Some of those kids were just, yeah. you know, yep. uh, young kids at yeah. the time. And yeah. now they are, you yeah. know, 18 and up leaders yeah. yep. who are now doing this cross Working Canada trip. With it's really cool. Yeah. yeah, so that was just really neat to see God's hand at work yeah. in such tangible ways and with people, real people right yeah. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was one of our wonderful experiences on Sunday. But then we also got to hear from from you yep. uh, in First John and we're... Mm -hmm. And we're going through that next section, moving yep. into chapter three. Yep. And uh, really what, what you kind of kept bringing us back to was this really cool idea of identity. Mm -hmm. You started with this story, yeah. Yeah. right? And like, it, yeah. it was a mind boggling story at, at the beginning. <laughs> I, I had to think really hard to track with you, but, but it made yeah. sense, right? Yeah, I, I hope I didn't confuse people uh, because it was just kind of this fun story. But, the, but I love the illustration of this story of a cub, a lion cub being raised with sheep. And there's lots of stories like that, but uh, of, you know, different animal being raised with another animal. <laughs> Tarzan's one of those yeah. stories, right? But, but uh, thinking he was a sheep, this lion, acting like a sheep and and then he sees a real lion another lion who tells him you're not a sheep and he's like what yeah it's like jesus telling us you're you're a child of god what yeah. you know john is reminding us you're yeah. a child of god because of what jesus did who you know your response to him when you say yes to jesus you become a child of god and 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 i don't know if anybody really grasps what that means yeah in our whole life like we can contact and so we were talking about how john seems a little repetitive you know we've yeah. talked about it i feel like we've talked about identity yeah. a couple yeah. of times now right but it's so vitally important that he keeps coming back to it if you know first of all the tozer quote aw tozer when he says what you believe about god is the most important thing about you 
if you really think about it, it really is. If we truly believe that God cares, that God is, is, is with us, that, that he's providing, protecting, caring for us, doing what's best for us, it'll totally reshape how we view the world. Yeah. You know, if we tend to think that the world's out to get me or if someone's cutting me off because they're, you know, they're being rude to me or yeah. whatever, we act a certain way. But if we think God has this, we we respond differently. Yeah. And then if and then because of who he is, who we are, you know, we we respond based on who we think we are. And if we and and God says you're you're my child. Mm-hmm. If we really understand that, it's just, just it, it affects everything. So am I a, am I a dad? Yeah, but but more importantly, I'm a child of God. Yeah. If I father out of child of Godness, you know, it'll be so much different than if I am like I got I got to be the best dad. I got to you know like yeah. Right? Or even even the fact that like uh, God being God is the unmovable rock mm-hmm. that I think identity needs to be. Yes posted on Mm -hmm. I was going to even say planted like posted on Mm -hmm. because there is so many things that we pull into that sense of identity of ourselves that are actually they're good and they're wonderful and they're important but those things change because like like you said Mm -hmm. you're a dad or I'm a husband or I'm a Mm -hmm. whatever uh, a lot of those things change throughout my entire life the fact that I am made in the image of God, the fact that I am cared and loved by God, and the fact that I'm a child of God, mm-hmm. none of that has changed my entire life, right? Like, yes, I, there was a moment where I came to acknowledge and accept Him and all that, but, but to know that I am created in His image, mm-hmm. you know, from my very birth, that ha- doesn't change, right? So that's, the, that's that immovable rock that just, that doesn't change. And so when we can think about that, mm-hmm. that's our bedrock identity that when everything else falls away and passes away or changes or has doubts or questions, uh, that's the one thing that doesn't change. And that, that actually should then propel us forward to say, because of this foundational thing, because of who God is, this is where I'm going to see myself, you know, going and heading. And, and this is who I am Mm -hmm. because of who he, he is, which is, I feel like what, um, John was kind of getting at because of who God is, this is how this is who I am Mm -hmm. right and that Mm -hmm. that's that's mind-boggling in it and it really pushes us forward into living life with confidence like you Mm -hmm. talked about you talked about you know approaching the throne of God with confidence Mm -hmm. because of all that oh yeah yeah and and being able to something that I didn't take time to really uncover because it would take so much time but God's glory Moses said show me your glory and 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 God you know had to had to say I'm, I'm gonna go by and, and you'll see my back Moses and Elijah both you know like you can't see my face you, you know I'll, I'll, I'll protect you, but you can see my back right yeah. and and just when when the Israelites were standing before the mountain and, and God's glory came down over the mountain they were terrified they said don't ever do that again you go <laughs> right but he says we can be confident and unashamed. They weren't confident and unashamed when he came. Yeah. They recognize, like, when his glory comes, everything about us will be brought into the light. Yeah. And and it will, we can have confidence because we're his child. I mean, just, so here's a, here's a little, um, an assignment for you. I'd love to hear back if you do this. But um, a lot of times we think, oh, you know, that, I know that. Okay take half an hour and write down all the implications that you can think of and maybe you'll sit in silence for a little while and be like I think I got them all but maybe at the 25th minute or the 29th minute something else will kick in of what what does it really mean to be God's child what are the implications Uh, I bet I bet you will uh, be surprised at, at what taking that time to think about all the implications that you can in half an hour or whatever time frame you but 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 a good chunk of time all of those things you know like this i think it's just so important to to ponder and to whatever to work it from here down to here yeah and when we're when we're just like oh yeah i know that and then we move on it's kind of like when i was in karate i remember being like i learned how to punch let's let's learn how to kick you know And uh, the, the instructor was like, no, you got to keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. I'm like, why? I didn't understand. 
and years later, now I understand that it's got to be something that you can do in your sleep if you right. really know something. Like it just comes naturally, and yeah. and if I my natural response to something is from a different space than he's, I'm a child of God. Then I really haven't grasped it. Right. You know. Yeah. So, anyways. So so the assignment is at the top of the page. You write because I'm a child of God, mm -hmm. and then list all the things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just just all the implications. You know. That, that you can think of and see if you can come up with a hundred yeah. 200 what can you come up with right yeah and uh and awesome. you'd be surprised maybe what comes out yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh so i hope you enjoy that i hope uh i hope we can hear some of your uh some of your answers some mm -hmm. of the things that god prompts you to and mm -hmm. and you'll be surprised i think how you know you get a couple really easy ones mm -hmm. then you get a whole bunch that are actually really much much deeper mm-hmm yep so that's your homework that's your assignment for the week I uh, hope you enjoy that and uh, and then we we are looking forward now uh, to some things coming up uh, we mentioned on Sunday that uh, we have a 50th anniversary coming up as well and so we want to encourage you to that and and tickets are on sale there's a few that were sold and so um, make sure that you get yours get yours as soon as you can because you're really just reserving a spot for you and your family to be able to join in that night and it's going to be a great celebration mm -hmm. and, yeah mm -hmm. uh jeff what else do we have coming up uh september 15th we have a picnic at green bay so what's really cool is green bay has been working on that building and if you were there last year same same weekend last year uh you, you saw some some work that had been done but mostly just fences around just this you know this area where foundations were being poured and everything there's walls up it's starting to look like something so you'd be able to come and see that see what god's kind of been doing through green bay but more importantly we just want to celebrate and be together as the school year kicks off uh, we want to just enjoy time together so after our morning gathering uh, we'll head over to green bay and we will um, eat together, hang out together, the, the water will be open, right? Yeah, <laughs> just making sure I think the water will be open, the, the playground, you know, the fields and stuff, so we can just, we can just enjoy time together and, uh, and um, ha have, have a great time on September 15th. Mm -hmm. And a lot less smoke than last year, so that's a big oh deal. Oh my goodness, so yes. <laughs> it'll be fantastic, yeah. so mark that on your calendar. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, we are just encouraging you to enjoy your week and to and to you know have some time with that with that list but really um be working on what what you feel god is drawing you forward to and and who he has made you to be you mm -hmm. you are a child of god and this is your identity in him so blessings on you and we'll see you on sunday <laughs>